most people don't put much thought into how difficult a good zombie horde is to maintain. Sure, it's fairly easy to repopulate your ranks, but those non-zombified jerks out there have guns and fire, which your shambling masses have relinquished in favor of brains. As such, you're up against some fairly stacked odds. Fortunately, you can prepare for this eventuality with iZombie, a cute little indie tactical real-time strategy brains. So you're this zombie. This one right here. He's the only zombie you actually control, but he acts as a ringleader of sorts for the blasphemous legion you're about to command. As such, he gets to move a little bit faster and direct the actions of the zombies he's responsible for creating. Unfortunately, zombies aren't the best at complex commands, so your repertoire of directions is limited to attack the nearest non-zombie, follow me, and stay. And using these commands, you have to infect the entire population of each village-like stage. Unfortunately for you, these municipalities aren't defenseless. While your average John Q. Town folks reaction might be limited to panic and run, certain more stalwart members of the City Watch pose more of a threat. Read, they've got guns and they know how to use them. Fortunately, zombies are fairly resilient, and it'll take several hits to actually bring you down. Unfortunately, the more damage you take, the more slowly you move, as bits and pieces of you presumably drag along, divorced from the muscle tissue they'd normally utilize by the interjection of one or more rounds of ammunition. And this is where those other zombies you've infected can come into play either presenting themselves as shields or distractions while you slip around back, or, and this is the fun part, just swarming the bastards. It's up to you, as the moderately intelligent one, to determine the best course of action and lead your troops to victory. And brains. The fewer zombies fall in your conquest, the more stars you'll get at the end of the stage, which means something to someone. What can I say, they're not brains. However, if your player-controlled zombie falls in battle, the game's over. Which makes no sense. Apparently all zombies are equal, but some zombies are more equal than others. That's the second review this week I've had to make an Animal Farm reference. Anyway, iZombie, which should really invite Asimov references rather than Orwell given its name, makes for a fast and easy tactical challenge for those of you who prefer your zombie infestations in small, bite-sized, highly strategic doses. So strategic, in fact, that certain advanced stages include invitations to view the developer's YouTube channel, which includes walkthroughs. How kind of them! I'll make sure to consume their flesh first so they don't have to question all they've lived for as the decaying masses continue their offensive across the face of the earth. I figure it's the least I can do for their entertaining me with this delightful and insightful indie game.